Here let us see a question from the chapter sequences and series. Here question is find the sum to n terms. Series is given here 3 into 8 plus 6 into 11 plus 9 into 14 plus this much. So, this series is given and in regard to this series we have to find the sum to n terms of this series. Okay. So, first of all in such type of problems you try to understand nth term because without finding nth term you cannot find the sum up to n terms. So, we have to understand the pattern of different terms of the series and after recognizing after understanding the pattern of the arrangements of these numbers these terms we can get nth term very easily. So, you see here first term is how much? First term is 3 into 8, second term is 6 into 11, third term is 9 into 14. So, and so on nth term will be how much? We will see here very easily we can understand it. So, this first term can be written as this 3, 6, 9 you see. So, this is 3 into 1, 3 into 2, 3 into 3 is not it. So, this is 3 into 1, this is 3 into 2, this is 3 into 3 and so on. So, this is about first factor 3, 6, 9 and this is second factor 8, 11, 14 just try to understand the pattern. So, this 8 can be written as first term into or write like this 5 into first term 1 sorry you write 3 into first term plus 5. Similarly, this is 3 into second term plus 5 11 is here. So, 6 plus 5 is 11. Similarly, this is 3 into third term 3 plus 5. So, this factor 3 is common everywhere. This term 5 is common everywhere. Simply number of term is mentioned. This is first term so 1, second term so 2, third term so 3. So, similarly nth term now we can write this is 3 into 1, 2, 3. So, here 3 into n. Okay. And next factor is 1, 2, 3. So, in n term 3n plus 5. Hope you have understood how to understand the pattern of the nth term. So, therefore, here Tn is equal to now we will multiply these two factors. So, this is 9n square plus 15 n correct. So, therefore, sum to n terms will be how much that will be sigma T n. So, sigma of 9 n square plus 15 n this sigma will be distributed over both the terms. So, coefficient will be taken outside. So, 9 into sigma n square plus 15 into sigma n correct. Now, this is equal to you know in uh, previous videos we have discussed so many times the formula sigma n square sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6 and sigma n sigma n is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So, let us put these values. So, your first term is 9 into sigma n square sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into n plus 1 n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6 and second term 15 into sigma n n is sigma n is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and after simplifying it we will get the result here this 6 will be cancel out 3 2 ja 6 3 3 ja 9. So, let us simplify it. So, in both the terms you see 3 by 2 
and n into n plus 1 will be common. 3 by 2 is here, n into n plus 1 is common. So, this is 2 n plus 1, 2 n plus 1 in the first term and here n into n plus 1 is common, 3 by 2 is common. So, 5 3 is 15 simply plus 5 is here. Understood? Because 3 by 2 n into n plus 1 is common, n into n plus 1 and 3 by 2 has been common. So, remaining factor is 5 here and simplify it, we will get the result. So, 3 by 2 n into n plus 1 here 2 n plus 6. So, from 2 n plus 6 you can take 2 common. So, into 2 is common and here n plus 3 n plus 3 this 2 will be cancel out. So, here required sum is equal to how much n into n plus 1 n into n plus 1 into n plus and this 3 will also be there 3 n n plus 1 n plus 3. So, this is the answer correct. So, very simple and interesting solution just we have to remember this formula, apply this formula and simplify, you will get the result. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best.